Whether you live in Florida, whether you live in a coastal community or you live in a landlocked state, you are reliant on coral reefs whether you know it or not. We're facing a complete extinction of an entire ecosystem. That's never been experienced before. So we are growing these corals within nurseries. We're trying to outplant these corals in high abundances and a high level of genetic diversity so that we can kind of sort of start to build these populations back up. The Florida Reef Track is the third largest barrier reef system in the world. For the U.S. specifically, it's the only barrier reef system that we have. It's an intrinsic, beautiful thing that you can only find here. In Florida in particular, we rely on our coral reef for economic benefits, and it also provides shoreline protection for all the coastal communities that we have throughout Florida. You can't put a bubble around a coral reef and keep climate change from affecting it. So right now, we're looking at climate change as being one of the severest impacts facing coral reefs. We've now lost 97% of the staghorn elkhorn populations that used to dominate. They're actually now listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. As we lost these populations, the populations that remained could not reproduce, so that contributed even further to their decline. So as coral reefs start to decline, you start to lose those ecosystem services that they're known to provide. So a lot of flooding, a lot of storm damage, loss of property, evacuations. So it's really important when you live on a coastal community to know what's going on with the reef system and work to protect it. We operate a nursery program and operates the largest nursery and outplant program in the world. We are growing these corals within nurseries. They're suspended on coral tree structures. The coral trees work by providing a very controlled environment, an environment that we can actually manipulate as well. We can actually shorten these structures and get them into deeper, cooler water, which the corals are actually much more happier at. And with the corals suspended on the tree, what we've learned is they actually grow faster than when they're attached to the bottom. The faster growth rate allows us to produce more coral. There's no way that we'll go back to their original state. Um, we're still working in a compromised environment, but what we're gonna see is we're gonna actually help these populations persist long enough that they can get through some of these stressors and actually start to either naturally recover or naturally evolve.